Hey, this is Huang and in this video, I'm going to show you how to send people to the next step of your ManyChat message uh, even when they don't click on one of your buttons. So let me show you a demo on my phone so that you know exactly what I'm talking about. So let's go to my phone right here and I'm going to send a message. Okay, here it is. Most people will click on this button to go to the um, next message. Um, now I'm going to send another message. Okay, but this time I'm not going to click on the button. Let's see what happens here. So as you can see, it automatically sends the next step um, in the manage chat message um, without me touching the button. So the reason why this is important is that sometimes people are busy. Maybe they are on their phone and they have a phone call or maybe they minimize the chat to go to another chat and they forget to go back and, and click on the button to go to the next step. So I came up with this because I have this um, client right here who has a big sequence that he wants to take people from the beginning to the end where he collect um, their phone numbers and he gave me a flow of messages that he wants to send out to people but the problem with his flow of messages is that um, it doesn't have questions like this to keep people interact with the chat and keep them engaged so he uh, just gave me a flow of messages uh, just message after message after message so what I did is um, I add some uh, questions like this to keep people interact with the chat uh, because as you know it's important to uh, keep people engaged otherwise it would be very boring if you just uh, send message after message after message so I added some questions like this to his flow of messages to make it as conversational as possible so the client tested the sequence that I set up for him and he came back to me and said um, he liked the questions that I set up for him but the thing is a portion of people don't click on the buttons after each question like this to continue to the next step um, and he said that maybe people are busy maybe they are in the middle of something or maybe they're getting a phone call or another chat um, when uh, they are chatting with the bot and it's important for him to send people to the next step so that they can um, continue to complete this flow of messages and give their phone number at the end so I spent uh, several hours playing with ManyChat and uh, finally I came up with this solution. So here's how to do it. So basically we are going to use different tags to track um, whether or not a person has clicked a button. And we are going to wait for a period of time from a few seconds to a few minutes to see if the person has that tag or not. Okay, so the flow is like this. So the person goes to the uh, this message and automatically go to uh, this message and if he clicks this button he will go to this message if he doesn't click this button after 15 seconds or after 30 seconds depending on your preference um, this message will still be sent to that uh, person so we're, we're going to use a tag to track the uh, clicking of this button okay so we're going to add a tag Okay, so I'm going to use this tag here. So uh, it's important that you uh, use different tags and, and number uh, your tags so that you know what um, this tag is for. Okay, so how to track it automatically in ManyChat and how to add a wait of uh, 15 seconds. Okay, so ManyChat doesn't have a wait action and uh, I think it is very necessary to have a wait action. However, I have a hack for this. Okay, so ManyChat doesn't have a wait action, but they have a delay action right here. So with the delay action, you can set up to 60 seconds. Here, I'm just uh, going to set it to 15 seconds. And now with the delay action, the thing is it, it cannot stand alone. So uh, if I leave it alone like this, it won't work. Um, we need to have a message after that. And the message um, cannot be empty as well. So the trick for this is to add a space, add a space, and now it works. 
okay so when you add a space like this it's gonna show in many chat but when it's live uh, it will send nothing so a message with a space like this means uh, sending nothing okay so the flow is like this so they go to this step and they will continue to wait for uh, 15 seconds so after 15 seconds we're going to check if they have clicked this button or not so to do that we are going to continue to the next step which is adding a condition okay so the condition is very simple just check if the tag exists or not so if the tag is button clicked one if yes it means that we already sent the next step so now we don't want to send anything which is a space if no we want to send this message you can be creative with this and send a different message for example um, if they don't click we can send seems like you are busy so you can be creative with this and continue to send whatever you want after this step okay so for now I'm just gonna send this uh, message so what if I have two buttons okay so if I have two buttons right here so if I have two buttons right here I will continue to tag this button with the same tag and we can send another message okay so this tag is for tracking if the person has clicked one of the buttons in this step so if you want to wait for more than uh, one minute it's very simple you can just uh, duplicate this I think we can have up to five delays um, together like this if you want to wait for 10 minutes we can add another message and um, we can add another message like this to uh, stack up the delays so it depends on your preference how much time you want to give the person to click the button I prefer just setting it to uh, 15 or 30 seconds so a very important thing when setting this up is that you want to reset the tags uh, whenever you need to okay so you will need to reset the tag at the beginning after the the first step like this so we're gonna remove the tag right here so the reason is sometimes people can go through your message um, several times they can uh, for example if you have a growth tool on your website and people can go to website and uh, opt in uh, several times to for example testing things out or uh, if you want to test this you will need to remove the tag because the first time you go through this and you click on the button um, you attack with this tag and the next time you go through this because you already tag it it won't work so it, it's important to remove the tag whenever you need to so for example for this client I have used 11 different tags and I remove all of them I reset all of them uh, after the starting step and I also um, reset it whenever it is necessary so I have used uh, 11 different tags and at this step I remove 10 tags okay so the reason is these buttons don't disappear after people click on them so they can come back and then they can click uh, a different button so for example if they click this button right here and they go through some of the, the steps they will be tagged with some of the tags here and they and when they come back and they click one of this button because they are already tagged if we don't remove the tags um, it won't work correctly if, if they if they click on uh, a different button right here so it's necessary that you remove the tags whenever you need okay so button clicked is the first tag because this tag is before all the other tags It's before this step so uh, at this step I don't remove this tag I just remove all the tags after this step okay so this is going to make the bot a lot more complex so as you can see I have our tags removed four times right here and I have um, the condition to check for 11 different tags in his big uh, flow of messages right here so it's going to make it more complicated to set up the bot and it's going to make it much more complex but I think it is necessary because a lot of times people just 
um, don't click on the on the button to go to the next necessary step that we want them to take if you want to keep them engaged by using this types of question to keep them interacting with the bot and you also want them to um, go to the next step i think this is a great solution so that's it i hope this video has been useful to you so if you have any questions please leave a comment on this video or send me an email to huang at chatbotprime.com thanks for watching and take care